Okay, hello and welcome everybody to Lick Cannon. Woohoo. Yeah. No, I, I... I feel like I just got a jump scare. I was just calmly, like, watching the Mario <laughs> screen pull up and all of a sudden... Yeah, sorry, like, no. It's time to go! We, we had, like, a an impromptu pre-meeting of this episode. <laughs> so now I'm kind of lost as to what the structure is. But hello, everybody. This is Lick Cannon. Thunder AF, B+. We're playing Mario Kart. Um... I'm the one in the pink, dude in the pink, and B, B is somewhere. Oh, right there in the next middle. To me in the white. Judging everyone. Judging everyone. So that'll be us. Staring at the pink hair. Um, B plus is Wario, and myself is Bowser. Pretty happy with those. Classic go-to. Go-to character. Anyway, there's a, a lot has happened this week. A lot has happened. What have we got? Okay, what have we got? We got... Cody Rhodes' watch is finally over. We got Moon Knight. We got Morbius. Um, the Bruce, slap. The, the slap, slap happened oh within God, this the week. Slap. Bruce Willis. Yeah. Hit, get going out of the spotlight. And Jim Carrey might be retiring. Yeah. I'll believe that when I see it. He seems like the kind of guy that can't ever let go of attention. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Carrey, huh? Yeah. You don't think he's an attention getter? Uh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's definitely, definitely a look at me, look at me. Maybe. Didn't he do some paint thing yeah. a few years ago? What he, was that? He needs validation. He'll be mm. back in some way. <laughs> you ever get that Oscar? Uh, I don't think so. See, you gotta come back. Give me an Oscar-fueled Jim Carrey movie. Like, Sonic 2, the final movie of Jim Carrey. <laughs> like, I don't know. It, it seems like kind of a whimper for him to go out on. I guess. I mean, as much as I didn't hate Sonic 1. I, I feel like I want my final gift legacy to the world to be no. better than... Well, it was not awful. I didn't it was, it was hate it as much as I it thought it would. surprisingly charming. <laughs> so we'll see how this one goes. I, I, and, and it feels like they're leaning into the... To what made the other one fun. It was just, you know, just don't give a shit about realism. Just yeah, make just, it a, a living cartoon. Just make it funny. Yeah. I did a funny. Yeah, so that happened. Yeah. Yeah, Bruce Willis, poor Bruce. I feel so bad now. Do you remember when we were talking about his, yeah, uh, because the like the article came out and I was like, yeah, he hasn't ball. been like and valid or functional or anything for like, 10 years or something like that. Now I'm like, oh. well, that, that, now, now yeah. I just feel like a shit person. I had heard the rumor about his mental health like months ago. It, it like, it was something that just like popped up on like a Reddit just message board. It w literally wasn't the, what the article was about, but it was just, it popped up in discussion down there. And you just take that with a grain of salt. It's like, oh, uh, everybody came out like, oh shit. And then everybody's, like, everybody's validated. declining. Ah. You, you gotta get invincible or something. Ooh, wait, I can just, hmm, hmm. Whoa. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I have a plan. Let's see if I can hold it. This is gonna be uh, the cool, I'm so far behind. I don't know if this is gonna matter. Oh my God, it's taking so long. No! Oh, motherfuckers! Um, oh. That was the plan! It didn't work! It got me to nine. That fucking lightning. Fucking lightning! Yeah, where'd that lightning come yeah. from? <sighs> what a dick. Did you? Was, that was me, yeah. Oh, you monster. I was holding on that lightning for way too long because I kept waiting for you to freaking get some defense, but you Something. only get shells because you were so high up. Well yeah. done. And I'm like, well, the, the lightning's got to go off now because I got to oh, yeah. take the lightning and take the. <laughs> Couldn't it just like, like, like three more seconds? <laughs> Maybe. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> we both know I don't hesitate to use it. Like, no. <laughs> got to use it. All right, going to Boob Park. Hopefully. Uh, okay. Uh, no, let's keep let's keep rolling. Um. No, um, Morbius. Morbius. Oh. Whew. I just, 
like, I, uh, it's, it's, it was so bad and I just didn't care. Like, this is my fear that, like, Marvel's gonna go down this, this like, shit mediocrity uh, it's bound tale. To and I'm gonna, it's like, bound to I'm gonna finally go in and be like, ugh, I'm just, just... So disappointed and bored with this bullshit. Yeah. Look, Marvel's never done that to me, and I'm just like, this one, this one, like, made me depressed by the fact that it existed somehow. Like, it just, it... I was just... Oh. I mean, I'm... I'm so fascinated by what happened. What happened? Like, like just... I feel like they had, like, some kind of, like, thought that they were going to be able to cross over with MCU... And so they did all this shit, and then somebody from Disney comes in and goes, yeah, that's not fucking happening. Did you think we were just going to let you... Like, <laughs> no, like, like you, you, you can't do that. And so they shut, like, whatever their storyline down, they just fucking got out what they got out. Hmm. What do you think the original story would have been? <sighs> See, I just... Like, I, I don't know how fucking Vulture would fit in to the plot at all. Like, and he, 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 in one of those fucking trailers, they were using him so much. Like he was, like, vital to the story. so many other scenes. Like, <laughs> why? What is that purpose? How, like, how much are they, or are these, like, what if they're using these scenes for a Sinister Fuck. Six movie? And there's like, no, no, fucking hold that for the Sinister Six. So the Sinister Six is going to be fucking butchered as well. Because it's, it's going to be coming from like two different movies. Oh, uh, you think they're going to give them, give That's Sinister not, Six money? I, I don't think they're going to give Sinister Six money. They've what cut the, like... What, what do you consider is Sinister Six money? Uh, I don't like... <laughs> like I, I, don't think the, I don't think it'll get made. I think it'll no. go into production hell for forever. Okay, yeah. Ah, oh, fuck. That sucked. That sucked a lot. And it'll like be like silver and whatever, black cat and silver sable. It'll be like something we've talked about. They've, they've talked about making and alluded to making. Yeah. And then it gets shuffled around and shuffled around and just ceases to exist. Probably, like the last I, I think Sinister it'll cease Six to movie. Yeah, it, it'll cease to exist. It's, they, te they, they teased it and then nothing. Yeah. Because it's not good enough. <laughs> like, you, like you need to Andrew do better. Garfield is no longer Spider-Man. And yeah. Uh, no. No. Because I I saw a theory that um, this was just on Facebook. It was just some picture theory thing. But the Vulture, he gets his wings in that other fucking um, you know world. So where does he get those wings in the other Spider-Man world? They're the vulture wings from um, the Andrew Garfield potential Sinister Six, maybe Spider-Man 2. And so they're the same wings. So is the Venom-verse actually the Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man-verse in something? I don't care. <sighs> like, I don't care. Like, I don't care about Let any of those things. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, yeah. I mean, I'll go watch them out of a sense of like I mean, responsibility, <laughs> but yeah, I guess. like to the genre, like I'm, you know, sometimes you gotta pay your dues and and watch some shit stuff so that other things get money. <laughs> but no, like they cannot watch the last couple of movies and be like, yeah, we're so delusional. We're gonna build a a whole thing out of this. We're gonna do it. No. We're gonna do it, Scarlet Spider. It's not gonna happen. Oh, um, what else did I hear was in production? Or, I mean, there's so many fucking bullshit things that are, you know, in production. Oh, yeah. Like, D DC's gonna do a Crisis on Infinite Earths movie after, like, Ari, you're already fucking yank, yank. doing Yank, How flash. would you? Are How? Ezra Miller getting arrested. <laughs> yeah, like, Karaoke is like threatening to light someone's house on fire or something like that. Uh, <laughs> like amazing. a couple took out a restraining order against him. I didn't read the whole thing. <laughs> I just saw he got arrested in Hawaii. Like something about attack. Like yeah, getting mad at a karaoke thing. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the whole details, but it's just. I guess what does that mean? Is how in trouble is he? Like 
just is this flash oh movie this is happening? mirror yeah i mean they've got video oh, i'm going Do the they? wrong direction <gasps> i'm going backwards oh it wouldn't, it wouldn't let me keep doing it i mean they've got that piece of shit footage that we've been looking at. fuck for, i went the wrong direction again <laughs> for over a year or so yeah and, uh, yeah, like how much do they have filmed of The Flash? I would like to know. And, yeah. Like this, what are they doing here? Uh, they've committed too much money to talking about it at this point. I think they have to make it. And it'll- They have, you gotta get something out. Yeah. Which is, who knows what that means. <laughs> Andrew Miller, like, like, he changes form halfway through, so it's just a different actor. <laughs> the multiverse has changed him, like fucking sliders. <laughs> and it's, um, Chalamet. Yes. It's Timothy Chalamet. Absolutely. Ah, shit. Like, the, the gotta have. <laughs> Hot young actor. Yeah. Timothy Chalamet is The Flash, Barry Allen. I would like to see Timothy Chalamet's take on The Flash. <laughs> I feel it would be cultured <laughs> and appreciated. Culture. <laughs> Look, I get a vibe off of him, all right? Okay. Like, listen, Tim, which, when you inevitably come to Marvel, who are you playing? Yes, I want to know. The inevitable Tim Chalamet character. Uh, he's he's cemented in Shit. nerd culture now. Dude. All it took was one movie. Yeah, that, that's Willy all it Wonka. Takes. <laughs> like, that is true. I had forgotten about the the Wonka that Wonka. he's. But I buy it. Bu I'm like I'm okay. Oh, I'm on it. I'll, I'll watch it. <laughs> I just got back from watching um. Cyrano. What is that? Um, you know, what's his name? Oh, ugh, yeah, okay. Pretty dope. Oh, uh, whatever. Like, oh, I no, don't care. Oh, no, <laughs> he sets a dude on fire. <laughs> like, like, okay, so, just the beginning, just the beginning. The beginning is so awesome. It starts out like, oh my god. Roxanne, Roxanne's a manipulative little, you know, fucking Machiavellian chess master over here of men. Really? Not a sweet, naive, innocent little thing? No, she, no, like, not towards, not towards, like, the end. She starts making, she starts doing a couple Ooh. of bullshits. It, it, they're just, so, but it's like one little thing here and there. But okay, so it starts out, she's b being courted by the Duke. Duke, you know, just weird, weird guy. No, not great guy, you know. Actually, he's a terrible guy. We'll get to that later. Oh, okay. Okay. So, um, but yeah, so she's not in love with him, blah, blah, blah. But like, you need to marry him for the money, you know, whatnot. Um, so they go to a play. And he's like, I thought you did. Why are you teasing him to go to a play? I really wanted to see it. <laughs> so it's like, okay. Anyway, she goes to the play. The play stars, the, like, this popular guy of, like, he's been, like, like he's the rock essentially of this town, you know. Like he, every, charisma. He, everyone loves his is his fucking shtick and show. And then fucking C C C Cyrano, Cyrano. Um, he like starts bellowing about how what he produces isn't art, and like he this theater only deserves the true artists and whatnot. And, like so essentially, Cyrano is gatekeeping their show. Because, he, like, basically, he's at an art house and they're playing a Marvel <laughs> film. And he's like, no, this is not happening. Unacceptable. Yeah. So he interrupts the play and then pays off the um, fucking owner of the venue to basically just cancel the show. So all that. But then this is all kind of, like, just Cyrano also just fucking you know, raving his dick around because he's just so awesome and popular. Everyone just loves him because he's a poet. He's a true poet. That's his other gift. He's a you know, gift of the tongue. And so anyway, he so he goes up there and it's like, does anyone challenge me? Because he's also a kick-ass fighter. He's essentially Batman. 
and this, and then the like the Duke's friend. He's like, fucking, I'll challenge you. So he's this weird, like, you know, they got that fucking French wigs and white makeup. He's already weird in the face. <laughs> so it's, so they're, like, basically doing, like, a swords fight rap battle. <laughs> and, like, you know, Cyrano's just owning his ass. And then finally the guy submits. Cyrano's like, ha, 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 that's the best you got. But then the guy you know, gets his fucking sword and he's going to attack from behind. Cyrano, fucking the Batman that he is fucking um turns around turns Fuck. and gets the blade into him so this guy fucking dies right there in the theater in Whoa. this duel as and it ended up being a show for all the people yeah and then that end of the show that's it like just people just duel and die and it's just a part of their culture <laughs> like that's just like uh, i just killed a man let's let's go for drinks <laughs> time to go yeah no big deal so that happens. Then he goes off. Oh. Oh, you're still going. Oh. I think. I, no, I'm not doing. No, okay. Someone else. Oh, we, we're going to get a connection there. There's people that have to Okay, moved. I'm like, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. Uh, release us from this hell, please. Anyway, yeah. So he he's going down this alley. Like He's like... I, like, oh, I'm in love with Roxanne. And, like, Roxanne sends a messenger. It's like, we need to speak with you in private. Because Roxanne sees the love of her life, Christian, in, in the crowd. They, they, they meet eyes, and boom, she's mm -hmm. got the hots for him. Right. So, she, like, the secret. So, we've just listened to Cyrano's um, love confession to his friend over here, the, the general or whatever. And. And then is like, oh, Roxanne wants a meeting with you. It's like, could this be it? Oh. And so, so like, he's all he's getting all hyped and prepared, and to go meet her. And he's like writing this this love letter to her, this wonderful poem. And he's talking to this fucking bread maker at the same time. And the bread maker, like, the people at the bakery start making bread, and it's like the fucking sexiest thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> so. so that so the sexy bread making <laughs> dance happens. How how is the bread making made sexy? Is it like they're like fucking ghosts in the yeed, you know? They're like uh, it, it, like it's you just have is, to is see this, it. Is this like a musical dance scene? Or? Yeah, yeah, this is a musical. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is a musical. Oh my god, everything. I hate everything about this. <laughs> like, I just... It's so... Everything. So, anyway, that... So, okay, there's this fucking alley scene. So like, he, I'm, I'm uncomfortable listening to this no, story. So, having not even watched it, I'm like, oh, this is so cringy and upsetting to me. No, this movie is dope. <laughs> and so, he... Gets in this alley, he gets cornered in this alley. There's like fucking like seven, ten fucking people that surround him. He just starts wailing on their asses. <laughs> like he is dicking and diving with a sword. Like as he packs up like two torches and sets a guy on fire. <laughs> and he, you know, he's just fucking killing these asses. But they kind of, you know, the numbers eventually catch up to him. They put in, they put him against the wall and then, um, Put a noose around him, and then the, then they have two guys that are up top, and they start raising him up to I, to hang him. But they pull him the whole way up onto their floor, where he somehow gets out of his noose, kicks their asses, and throws these two full full grown adults over the edge. <laughs> and then he like jumps back down, but he's like, yeah, I feel like a, I, he, he fucking kicks their asses, <laughs> but he gets a scratch. And then, then, so then he has the meeting with the uh, Roxanne. Is like she's taking care of his wound from the fight. And he's like, I, what would I do if I lost you? And she's like, I have a confession. Like I know this man. And he, like he's just, you see all the joy in his face as so he's gonna tell her because when she says it. And then she's like, can you like this guy Christian? He's like, oh, he just fucking stone face. Ugh, ugh. Like I, I. I feel upset by this story. <laughs> and yeah. that's just like the first part of it? Cause yeah. I mean, yeah. he's famous for like 
actually making her fall in love with it. Like, the other guy isn't, isn't that's, he? That's what, yeah, that's, that's, that's the part, that's what she asked. She asked him to watch over Christian and to, um, you know, have him write letters to me. I want to speak, because, like, sh like she doesn't know this guy at all. She's just literally seen him from across the crowd and just knows that he's the one. But she's never spoken to him and doesn't know what his personality is at all. So it's like, that's why you need to write letters to me. And to this guy is just, you know, he's not very bright. He's not, I guess not, he's not, he's not, he's bright. He's, he's he, not l literature. He's not educated. Educated, yeah. And so, so that's why, so your honor is like, yeah, I'll help you do this. He also put like, no, you shouldn't. No, this would be a great idea. You know, he has thought that kind of weird, like, do we trust him? Do we not trust him? What the fuck's going on? <laughs> and so, so he was like, I'll write the letters for you and whatnot. And so meanwhile, the Duke, the Duke like tries to hire Sierra to join his legion or something like that. And he's like, nah, I don't fight for anybody. I fight for myself. Like he's on this punching bag during this scene. <laughs> awesome. This is all Peter Dinklage? Yeah. Is the Duke? No, no, Peter Dinklage in, against the Duke. The Duke. Oh, okay. It's Peter Dinklage is not the Duke. Oh, okay. The Duke is the bad guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think it might be cooking at Mall. Maybe, maybe. I don't know if I've done the timer. Okay. Um, so the Duke's and we mad Mally in love with, you know, Roxanne as well. Of and course. He, and he I mean, needs they're her. They're all. So he's got, he's in this fucking grudge fight with Siano and there's a war going on. So he's like, I'm gonna fucking send these guards, you know, to the fucking front lines. There's, what, what war is going on? I don't know. Napoleon War. Oh, like okay. And, but then, so, um, blah, 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 um, what's her name? Roxanne. You know, she gets wind of this plan. Because, and obviously, that means Cyrano and Christian are both going to go to, um, fucking war, to the front lines. So she's, so she kind of, like, sweetens up over to the Duke and is like, hey, I do love you, but, like, uh, here's what we need to do. And she basically, like, can convinces that they that she's not friends with Cyrano anymore and the best way to humiliate him would be to not send him to war. And so if you really want to fucking, you know, just get at Cyrano, don't send him to war, keep him at home because he won't get the rewards and the, you know, all the, the glory the, of the, battle. The adulation that he craves. Yeah, and then she's like, and I love a man that goes to war. I want you on the front line. So she's over here fucking honey dipping. <laughs> Like, to get Duke to go to war himself and more than likely die, and so Siriano and Christian could stay. Like, th this is the level that she's getting to. Wow. Of, of just manipulative ability. So then... Oh, oh. Um, what happens next? So... So There's he, some more love story, but then... Who gets sent to war? <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, so... So now the Duke's like... Get, oh, fuck, I thought I could do that. Um, the Duke's getting fucking horny. And he's like, you know, why, can't, why, why do I have to beg for something that every, everybody wants? That's like his song. <laughs> and so he sends a fucking letter to her with a priest that says... That's basically... I'm coming there right now to rape you. The priest is here. If you want to marry me and make it legit, <laughs> this then is happening. he's staying. But if he's not there, I, it just it doesn't matter. <laughs> like what what decision you make. Like, you, you're, you're getting, getting fucked what you tonight. get. Yeah. <laughs> and like, he sends that in a fucking letter. And then so she shows it to Siriano because they're both there. Why were they both there? I don't know. I don't remember why they were both there, but, and then she kind of reads it, like the priest's like, what does the letter say? It says, I'm to be a swiftly and hidden married right now to, and the Sirianna's like, oh, please me. And then he, she obviously picks Christian. And so it's like, 
I want to marry a Christian right now. The letter says, the priest is like, hey, like, Syrian, please go keep, you know, watch for the Duke because he's obviously he's on his fucking way. <laughs> uh, do you don't mind if I go fuck this other guy while you will protect us because yeah. you're clearly the better? <laughs> yeah. So she marries, she's marrying Christian. Duke shows up. Cyrano does nothing. He just lets the Duke walk on by, walks into the ceremony. He's like, what the fuck? So he's very upset at this situation, and he's sending he's, the he's, he's super upset that his planned rape yes. situation didn't, didn't pan out. Yeah. Exactly how he wanted. Yep. Okay. Yep. So he sends the guards to war. So Cyrano and Christian go to war. He's still writing letters to her. Like, I, it, it comes up that when like everyone's about to fucking die, that Cyrano has been writing like letters every day to her in, in Christian's name. And Christian didn't know that. He didn't know she, like, he was sending that many letters. Because <laughs> but like they have this like, you're actually in love with her. But anyway, so they're going to war. But yeah, they, I never really hid that. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So so they go to so they go to the front lines and they're just kind of there. Um, Cyrano is actually sneaking into the town to go deliver the le to get the letters delivered, and it's like then he like steals the apples and kind of gives them to the truce. But he's always like, ha ha ha! I can always make it across, you know, no, no man's land. And then is he still writing in Christian's name? Yes. Oh yeah. Just constantly does it. And then. Um, the the king the king of France or whatever gives the order is that like we need to basically like they're sending in a suicide team to go to get some ground and like you know the you know, sacrifice the few for the many type of bullshit. Uh huh. And so so the duke the duke has this like, little bit of sympathy where it's just like what, what, who do I do like for glory do I do it for the best the most bravest do I do the most expendable. And then he, so he convinces himself to do the guards, which obviously they're in. So then there's this really, there's this like, oh, this very fucking sad scene where this this postman, this like post child, is collecting letters from people. Like these are their last letters because they know that they're about to go die. Ah, oh. oh, fuck! And it's I'm just like it's this, you can hear this like fucking song, and then they go out and then like they just go, they just walk into battle. Ugh. And that does sound pretty wrenching. Yeah, and then like and then fucking Christian and Ciano get um in the fucking angry because the letter stuff comes out. It's like this is your last letter. It's like what's this tear on it? Like I'm fucking sad. And like you loved her, you love her, like she loves you. Cause like he in his head she would never accept him. You know, mm -hmm. the, the ugly midget. Oh no, fuck. And yeah. I think she's been pretty clear about not accepting him. Like, yeah, she just, she just never saw it. She never saw it. And so he ends up like, no, you tell her everything. Like he wants to confess everything, but I have to fucking survive this fucking battle. But then he just runs out into the march and just straight into no man's land and gets shot. So he goes down and she you know, like pulls him away. He's like, no, like, I... I don't care that he died. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so he dies. And then it goes, like, three years later, Ciano, like, still has this weird bullet wound where he gets shot in the battle. Like, I don't know why the wound is still fresh. Or, like, he cuts it open and puts blood on this letter of he's going to do a confession to finally tell her after three years. During those three years, was he still writing letters? No, he wasn't writing letters, but he just... He ne yeah, he never confessed about Christian at all, though. Christian was always who she thought of through the letters. Like, okay. he never he never said anything about that. And so so now he's basically dying, goes to this, like, church or monastery or something where she's at. I guess she's worked there because, you know, she's a nun now or something like that. Mm. Yeah, because her, the Christian, the one true, true love of her life, is dead. Oh. Even though Cyrano's right over there if he had just confessed earlier. Mm. So he's, like, on his deathbed for some reason because of some wound that didn't, I guess, heal after three years. Festered. Sweet. 
and like can I, you, you said one day you'd let me read um, Christian's last letter, and so he, so so she like she has Christian's last letter always on her, you know, on her heart right there. So she pulls that out, and um, and he starts reading it, but then he's like, you can tell he's not reading it. He just knows the words, and so she realizes that it was him the whole time. And she's like, I love you, I love you, I love you, and. Unfortunately, he fucking dies. That is unfortunate. The end. What a depressing tale. Yeah. But, yeah, like, still pretty dope. <laughs> pacing was, like, pacing was a little weird. Sound mixing was a little weird. But, nah, I was, I was into it. <laughs> You're on board. Yeah. See you right now, everybody. What else has happened uh, this week? Man. Fuck. No. Oh. No. Uh, like I said, Cody Roadwatch is finally over. He debuted at WrestleMania night one. The the end is nigh, you know. Like finally, we're done with this. How long has this like been a? It was an amazing. Like oh man, oh man, how long? Late December, early January. I think where reports came out that his his contract was up and he was just working on like a month to month basis. And was and there a reason that he would be unhappy there? I didn't want to leave. He he well he didn't have the creative freedom he wanted. And like because every like yeah like I think I don't I'm I'm just so curious like it looked like he was turning bad guy. And then he really wasn't like <laughs> so weird. It's like, it looked like there was a plan, you know, mm -hmm. a plan. Like I like I was a Cody truther. I believed in the heel turn, the slow heel turn <laughs> plan. And to then just have the like, you know just fucking rug pulled under you that it it's not some grand, you know, Machiavellian scheme. It's just some guy just doing shit. <laughs> like, did it break your heart a little to be a like, little. cause you're like, oh, I thought, I, I thought I knew better. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just look back at some of those, like how, how not, that something was intentional in there. <laughs> I want to believe. Like there's like something that was intentional. I want to believe that there was someone in control and, that was gonna fix this. That was taking care of things. <laughs> But I could trust good saw, things would like, come. Yeah, and it, like it's just like no, oh no, actually, it was just, just it was just shit getting thrown to the wall. Sorry. Like even like yeah, I like, I saw the outline, I saw the grand plan, and I just like yeah, I understood. Like I, you know, you go, you, maybe you do something messes up, you you course correct, but it was still on the plan. <laughs> it's like and he's gone. Like oh. Okay. Oh, I thought it would be a bigger, like, longer deal, or or like, is this a part of it? Mm. Like, yeah, like part of it was like, are, are they just re releasing their own rumors just to fucking screw all of even the diehard fans that are pay attention to that bullshit? Is that the level that they've gone? So, I, and, and, you believe the writers don't like their fans or just enjoy like tormenting you? You know, with some, yeah, like, yeah, you think it's a like, sick world, huh? Interesting. Like I, I just, it's hard to believe that, but there, yeah, I kind of do. <laughs> but they're just like, fuck them. Fuck these whiny little bitches that are constantly crying about things. Well, I remember. I was watching one feed, and it was coming from their satellite feed, so you didn't get commercials. You just got their dead air. Not their, but not their dead air. It was just, you know, you would go to commercial, and then you just start chit-chatting with, you know, your coworker <laughs> because you're not on the air. But you, but we were, I was watching a stream with, from that feed that you still, so you still heard what everyone was saying. And I just remember, like, they were doing some kind of chant that, like they didn't want, they wouldn't have wanted. It was some, I, they, I feel like it was like a CM Punk champ. And 
the Jerry the King. This is Jerry and Michael Cole, I believe, at the time. Um, you hear Jerry just go like, "Oh, let, let me go out there and um, Fandango it. Like, we'll get them to shut up." Like they knew what they had done with the Fandango chant. Like they knew they had killed it and how they killed it by t by having Jerry go out there and or like Michael Cole go out there and do it. So like yeah like they know some like sometimes they're just it seems like cool people I don't know interesting and like who knows if I can believe any of that shit too it could all be part of the plan I, I don't know if it could all be part of the plan but just people just lying so, I don't know don't know I think uh, there's a lot more of people just being shitheads in business than yeah. <laughs> than we're, you know, previously led to believe. <laughs> Sometimes people just do weird shit. <sighs> well done. Oh, sorry guys, I was in it for a second. Oof. You were. First place. Lay down. Um, okay, um, no, what else is up in this week? Moon, oh, Moon Knight, we haven't done Moon Knight at all. Moon Knight also came yeah. out. I'll fucking watch anything that Oscar Isaac's in. <laughs> Seriously. Like, what else is he been in? I don't care. He can be in every, anything and nothing. Like, I'm again, on board. Gosh, Oscar Isaac, it's just like, uh, what does he do? I don't know. I, I don't. I don't what know. What has he done? He's, that he, he has he some like, sort of Oscar magical Isaac. charisma that I'm like, I'm on board, buddy. I, Whatever you want. <laughs> like, no, like, what else has he done? Okay. He was the Duke in Dune. He was Poe Dameron. Yeah. Po like, po Poe Dameron? Like, that was it? That was the one that's like... Uh... I don't know. All together? I guess... Okay, yeah, I, I guess I've, for, I've just completely just dumped the Star Wars sequel trilogy from my memory. Yeah. That. But he was like Oscar the only Isaac thing I was like, in Ooh, yeah. It, completely <laughs> forgot. Completely <laughs> forgot. Because I was thinking like he was in some kind of action movie. What superhero movie was he in? Yeah. I was trying to think what DC movie he was in. Oh, he was a. Uh, but an Apocalypse. Forgot about that's that. That's right. He was in Apocalypse. I was yeah, but I was thinking DC movie, and which I was like, that wasn't him in Wonder Woman. No, but it should have been. And, <laughs> and yeah, so. I've yet to come up with a. Yeah, just, okay. Uh, one but, yeah, Oscar Isaac. And been. so he's like, oh my God, what a great actor. Like, I guess I, I just. Oh, I don't know that, that he's bad. a great actor. I'm just Every, yeah, into well. his face. Okay, no, all right. <laughs> and that could, that's fine too. Yep. Ah, motherfucker. Oh, yeah. So, Fucking hills. But no, fun roll. I like that. He, he seems to be having fun with it, which I'm like, oh, that's cool. Shit. Ah. Like the the we the glass feet thing was a little uh, much. I was so upset during Oof. that. Uh, and that's what started out. I, I was like, well, we're gonna start with this. Like, all right. And then like him almost crying in the the steakhouse. I was like, yeah. oh, I don't have my shit together either, buddy. I'm on board. <laughs> and then you know the full personality split or whatever happens with Moon Knight. Yeah, and like the tape thing. I, I, the tape thing wouldn't really work because when you come back, you just put the tape back up. Yeah, but then you'd know you'd, you've been out. But no, but. Like it, that's, like that's, you just know that. But, you, door could, but you could come back and then just put the strip of tape back up and just so. Yeah, but I mean. It wouldn't look he's like... He's thinking he's sleepwalking, not that yeah. he has an entire different personality that okay. is right. walking around in his bodysuit. <laughs> he, he's thinking he's just getting up and wandering around. <laughs> not, not conscious. Okay. So, he just kind of wants to know if he was up, so he, he, up and he around. So, he doesn't think he's manipulative. No. Until... So that weird voice starts talking to him. Is that his deep voice? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think it's like cast actually like announced who the cast was mm. for the voice. <sighs> oh, my nose itches. Oh, I did better in that than I thought. Well done. Thank you. And, and then 
just every fight scene just gone. Yeah. <laughs> But like, like I said, it like let me build it in my head. So I'm like, my God, it was so sexy and cool. How did he do with such sexy and cool fighting? Sexy and cool. Yes. I find Oscar Isaac sexy and cool. Cool. That's a weird looking dude. That's it. It looks like, like, I don't know. That's a creeper face. Yay! Oh. New stuff. New stuff. I love it. D car. D car. D car. D car. I touched first. Nice. Aww. Aww. Well, these things happen. <laughs> these things do happen. Ah. Uh, a lot happened. It wasn't great. Please, be alone, red shells. Fly and last. <laughs> Don't care. <sighs> Congratulations. What happened? Oh, I uh, just. No, I just. No. I wasn't attacked at all. You got away. I don't know. I, 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 I just. I don't think they were ever that far away from me, but no, I just never got attacked. I held on to a red shell and like a banana. Oh, sometimes the like so like third, 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 third through fourth, so second through fourth, spend all their time fighting each other. Maybe I don't yep. know. Dope. Ugh. All right, everybody, we're probably gonna go. Yeah. I'm gonna see you later. Like, subscribe, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs>